Hey Dad, uh, E.T., live, with my guys here. Big deal, big deal. <laughs> and I said, you know what, this is such an amazing story, and, and it's very dramatic, I'd love to do something. And then things started to happen. I talked to my friend Robert Osborne, he said, hey, why don't you get uh, Carmen to play, uh, you know, uh, one of the main roles, the model that uh, he used to, to dupe the, uh, the charities, and got all the money from the charities. What stage are you in the production? Um, you know, I'm finished up the script right now, and I'm looking to shoot as quick as uh, three weeks. That's pretty fast. Yeah. You know, ideally, I'd love to have uh, Dustin Hoffman to play Madoff, but I have a couple other uh, good characters uh, that, that have, have uh, impressed me. A lot of Wall Street insiders. Uh, you know, uh, Madoff is a Satan of Wall Street, so uh, as the media is, is uh, tagging him, the Satan of Wall Street. And that, that, again, I have so much footage, actually. I'm having people uh, film their stories and send them to me, and I'm thinking of doing a, a documentary. I'm going to do a documentary called Satan of Wall Street. And also one in Minnesota that is like $9 billion worth of a group that's lost $9 billion. Um, yeah, I've, learned, I've learned a lot. I've, I've studied banking for many years, and I'm fascinated by the whole banking system. But I'm really, I've really learned a lot more and, and actually have some insider information uh, on the whole, uh, the whole deal. Apparently, at one point uh, in September, there was a half a trillion dollars missing, and I haven't heard that in the media yet. Um, I'm, I'm in the process of researching that. That's got to be a country. Uh, this is so incredible that, that you know. You don't think I can make sixty-five billion dollars in the film? <laughs> I mean, Mel Gibson did pretty good. <laughs> did he make sixty-five billion? Um, I think he did. You're really busy. I mean, how are you going to get all this done? Are you going to move your make and all this stuff? just won't sleep, you know. I sleep when I die. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Evan. That's good. Thanks very much. We good here? But let's start on this side, and uh, let's go for the top of the page, and we'll just go right down. You know, I'll get some footage of this. Let me ask you something. When's the last time you screwed over your best friend? I mean, this guy's dirty. Huh? I don't know. Like Look, I'm Bernie Madoff, and you're not. I like that. I like that. I'm Bernie Madoff, and you're not. Okay, put the paper down there if you could, if you don't mind, and, and lean into it a little bit and, and uh, a little more, uh, a little more uh, cocky, a little, little you know, more arrogant. <coughs> now you could take and buy and uh, program the computer to make a violation, but we haven't done that yet. I'm Bernie Madoff, and you're not. You want to talk to John. You want to make sure you invest. This is a good deal. You'll make money. We'll make money. Everybody will be happy. I think it's a good thing. I think it's a really good thing, and I think now, because I have chipped nails, we all need to go get a manicure. What do you say, Gus? Great. Awesome. So actually, uh, uh, the Illuminati in 1946, uh, with uh, Nathan Rothschild, took over the world. <laughs> no, maybe sure you knew, right? Yes, exactly.